In a tale that reads like a script out of a dramatic thriller, MD Tiamiu, a Nigerian vlogger, has shaken the foundations of UK immigration with a single confession. Meet MD Tiamiu, a name well known among the Nigerian diaspora and those dreaming of new beginnings in the United Kingdom. Through his popular YouTube channel, Tiamiu has become a beacon for many, offering insights and practical advice on how to navigate the complex process of relocating to the UK. However, the narrative took a sharp turn recently during what he termed the Japa Update. In this controversial update, Tiamiu disclosed a startling truth. Many Nigerians, contrary to their claims of pursuing educational excellence, were primarily using student visas as a gateway to seek better economic opportunities in the UK. This revelation not only ignited a firestorm of debates, but also cast a shadow of doubt over the intentions of countless Nigerian students in the eyes of the UK authorities. The immediate aftermath of Tiamu's confession was as swift as it was severe. The Nigerian community, both at home and abroad, found themselves grappling with a mix of betrayal and dismay. His statements, intended or not, painted a broad stroke that risked undermining the genuine aspirations of numerous students who indeed aim for academic achievement in the UK. Meanwhile, the UK's response was unambiguous. Immigration authorities began scrutinizing the student visa program more closely, hinting at tighter regulations and increased oversight in the near future. This startling admission was just the beginning of a saga that would unravel with unforeseen consequences. As the dust barely settled on his revelations, Tiamiu faced a storm of backlash that transcended borders. The Nigerian community, both at home and in the diaspora, was in uproar. Accusations of betrayal and selfishness were hurled at Tiamiu, as his actions were seen as undermining the genuine efforts of many Nigerians who sought educational opportunities abroad with honesty and integrity. Social media platforms buzzed with heated discussions. From Twitter threads to Instagram stories, Nigerians expressed their dismay and disappointment. Some called for a boycott of Tiamiu's YouTube channel, which had once been a beacon of hope for many aspiring to move to the UK. The sentiment was clear. Tiamu's disclosure was not just a personal error, but a communal setback. Meanwhile, the UK immigration authorities were quick to respond. Alarmed by the implications of Tiamu's admissions, they initiated a comprehensive review of visa policies concerning Nigerian applicants. This wasn't just a routine check, it was a stringent reassessment aimed at tightening loopholes and preventing the misuse of student visas, an action that could potentially make the visa application process more rigorous and less accessible for all Nigerians. The broader implications for Nigerian students and immigrants were severe. Those genuinely pursuing education or career opportunities in the UK now faced the possibility of stricter scrutiny and more robust background checks. This shift could lead to delays, increased rejections and a general atmosphere of distrust, complicating the already challenging process of studying abroad. Amidst this turmoil, the academic and immigrant communities began to brace themselves for the changes. Universities and educational consultants advised students to prepare more comprehensive documentation and to adjust expectations. The dream of studying in the UK, once seen as a straightforward path, now seemed laden with obstacles and uncertainty. With his own community feeling betrayed and the UK authorities tightening the reins, Jamiu's situation was about to get even more complicated. In a dramatic turn of events, rumors swirl about Tiamiu's forced return to Nigeria. The details are sparse, yet the chatter is loud and persistent. MD Tiamiu, once a beacon for aspiring migrants, now allegedly finds himself on a plane back to his homeland under the stern gaze of UK immigration authorities. Deportation, especially under allegations of immigration fraud, is no small affair. It begins with the cancellation of visas, followed by a possible detention while arrangements are made for departure. The legal ramifications are severe. A deportation record can severely hinder future visa applications not only to the UK, but to other countries as well. Socially, it casts a long shadow over one's reputation, often viewed as a public mark of non-compliance with international law. For Tiamiu, the personal stakes are incredibly high. Known for his vibrant online presence and his candid advice about moving to the UK, this turn of events might not only silence his channels but also reshape his future. 
Can he rebuild his credibility? Will his audience empathize with his plight or see him as a cautionary tale? The impact of this alleged deportation extends beyond just one man. It sends a ripple through the community of potential migrants, signaling the serious consequences of circumventing legal routes for migration. While the full story behind his deportation remains cloaked in mystery, the implications are crystal clear. The shock waves of Tiamiyu's actions reverberate far beyond his personal ordeal. As a result, we find ourselves peering into a future where the doors to the United Kingdom might not swing as widely as they once did for Nigerian hopefuls. This expected shift in immigration policy and visa regulations could mark a significant turn, especially for those genuinely seeking educational opportunities abroad. In the wake of these revelations, it's anticipated that the UK government might tighten its scrutiny over visa applications from Nigeria. This translates to more rigorous background checks, stricter requirements for admission proof, and perhaps a closer examination of the applicant's intent. The goal? To sieve out those who might see the educational route as merely a stepping stone to economic migration rather than for academic enrichment. For genuine students and immigrants, this heightened scrutiny could become a formidable barrier. Imagine a young Nigerian student, let's call her Ada, who has spent years preparing for a chance to study biochemistry at a prestigious university in London. Her dreams and her reality now hang in the balance. Contingent not just on her academic qualifications, but also on proving the sincerity of her intentions in an environment of increased distrust. This scenario extends beyond individual aspirations. It touches on the broader socio-economic factors that compel many Nigerians to seek greener pastures abroad. With economic challenges ranging from high unemployment rates to inflation, the quest for stability and better opportunities is not just desirable, it's often deemed necessary. This drive, while understandable, is now clashing with a global landscape increasingly wary of immigration abuses. As we consider these implications, it becomes clear that the actions of one individual can indeed trigger a cascade of consequences that affect many. The landscape of immigration is shifting and many stand to feel the ground move under their feet. The ripple effects of Tiamiyu's revelations are just beginning to unfold and they promise to reshape not only futures but also the very approach towards migration and opportunity. From fiery debates to heartfelt sympathies, the public reaction encapsulates a spectrum of emotions. MD Tiamiyu's saga has not only sparked controversy but also a profound dialogue among Nigerians at home and abroad. The streets of Lagos to the online forums frequented by the Nigerian diaspora are buzzing. Many condemn Tiamu's actions as reckless, accusing him of tarnishing the image of countless honest Nigerians striving to study and improve their lives legitimately. He has set us back, one might hear in heated discussions, reflecting a sense of betrayal that resonates deeply within the community. On the other hand, there are those who view Tiamu with a more sympathetic lens. Amid the harsh economic realities in Nigeria, some argue that his actions, while misguided, stem from a place of desperation. What he did was wrong, but can we really blame him? This question surfaces in quieter, more reflective conversations, highlighting the tough choices many face in pursuit of a better life. This dichotomy of views brings us to the crux of the matter, the importance of honesty and integrity in immigration processes. The pursuit of opportunities in new lands is a story as old as time, but the means by which one seeks these opportunities can have profound impacts, not just on the individual, but on the entire community. The backlash from the UK authorities, including stricter visa scrutiny, serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of undermining these processes. Furthermore, Tiamiyu's case forces a reflection on the economic pressures that drive such drastic measures. The allure of stability, safety and prosperity is powerful. Yet the paths we choose to achieve these goals must be paved with integrity. It is a complex issue, one that requires understanding both the macroeconomic factors and the personal stories of those involved. In the court of public opinion, the line between villain and victim blurs. As we navigate these troubled waters, the story of MD Tiamiyu remains a cautionary tale reminding us that while the quest for a better life is valid, the means to achieve it must be just as honorable. As the curtains draw on this unsettling drama, the lessons remain vivid and undeniable. 
We've witnessed a tale that spiraled from a shocking revelation to a wave of backlash, an alleged deportation and a broader impact that could reshape future immigration policies. MD Tiamiyu, once a beacon for hopeful migrants, became a cautionary figure through his admissions about the misuse of student visas by some Nigerians seeking better economic opportunities in the UK. This saga underscores a critical moral about the essence of transparency and integrity in the immigration process. While the pursuit of improved living conditions is a legitimate and understandable goal, the means to achieve these ends must be grounded in honesty. Every shortcut or deceit not only jeopardizes the individual's chances, but also casts a long shadow on the entire community striving for similar dreams. In the quest for greener pastures, let us not lose sight of the values that ground us. Honesty, integrity and respect for the law must lead the way.